Hey folks, this is a quick walkthrough of the operation and overview of the installation of the cruise control kit for a Kubota L2501. I believe this should also work on the 3301, 3901, as well as some older 3200 and 3800 models. The uh, model number for this is the L8455. I think I paid right around $235 for it from my local dealer. Installation wasn't too bad, probably a couple hours, uh, not working all that hard and figuring out as I went. If we look at the tractor here, the cruise control lever takes up what is typically an empty spot here next to your range select. Um, moves back and forth. That is linked directly to the treadle pedal there. Also, you see that lever is pushed forward. If we come around to the other side of the tractor, it's also unique. It's just like on your car. The brake pedals are tied to the control or cruise control lever. So if you depress the brakes, the lever releases. Also, what's interesting, if that lever is in the forward position and you want to use your split brake function, there's a little bracket down there that ties into the cable that runs from the brake pedal linkage over to the cruise control. And that allows you to use your split brakes without actually releasing the cruise control. So split brakes, cruise control stays engaged, linked brakes, cruise control disengages. So fairly interesting. Now we'll take a look at how it's actually installed on the tractor. So here we are on the left side of the tractor. Here's the new cruise control lever right here. If we look down, there's a few things that need to be changed to allow you to get this lever in here. First thing is the bolt here that the range select and the new cruise control lever actually pivots on. The kit comes with a bolt. You pull out the old one, replace it with a new one. Additionally, there's this bracket right down here. There's already an existing stud on the tractor. You attach that bracket there using the existing bolt, I believe it is. All that does is hold a return spring. Next, we'll go under the tractor for a little better look of the mechanism down there which allows this linkage to actually control the speed as well as the brake pedals to actually disengage this cruise control lever if you hit the brakes. So we're under the tractor on the left-hand side. If we look up there, you will see the cruise control lever comes down. There's the pivot point. And then there is a linkage which allows it to control this uh, bracketry right here. You'll see these four plates here. It's kind of ingenious the way they designed this. This cable here runs across over to those brake pedals. And as I was showing earlier, when you hit the brakes, the cruise control disengages. This works similarly to a clutch. This is basically a cam mechanism that through this spring tension here applies pressure and allows you to actually control this rod here with the lever. When you apply the brakes, you put tension on this cable. It releases this cam and allows the whole mechanism to return based on a return spring that's located just up there. So kind of an ingenious way of doing that. I thought anyways, especially without any uh, electronic control of the throttle on this tractor. So as I was saying, cruise control lever up there is tied to this assembly here. Pretty simple as far as that goes. This pivots, moves this rod here. Here's your HST filter for reference. And this rod here, already existing, comes out of the, the transmission, I guess you'd call it, goes straight across, and this is also what the treadle pedal controls. So you're just tying this rod in here, it's controlling the same thing that the treadle pedal would be controlling on the other side, which is why that treadle pedal moves in conjunction with the cruise control lever whenever you actuate that. Now, according to the instructions, you need to remove the left-hand tire as well as the left fender to actually get this kit on. You do not need to do that. I didn't do that. I have loaded tires. I wasn't interested in trying to remove this tire by myself. The only thing you need to be mindful of if, uh, if you decide to do this without removing the tires and fender is the linkage right here that ties to the actual cruise control lever down to this bracketry assembly here. That's the only thing you need to get this thing oriented, this linkage 
properly before you throw this bracket in. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to pivot it up. It's not a big deal. Leave these bolts loose until you get that right. And then you can, can kind of rotate the whole thing up into place. So don't think you actually need to pull the whole, whole left rear tire and fender assembly off to get this install done. So next we'll move over to the right hand side of the tractor to show you what's going on with the brake pedal assembly. So as I mentioned, you don't need to remove the left hand tire nor the left hand fender to get this kit installed. You do however, have to remove the center hump, this little cover here, as well as this floorboard to get to all the good stuff underneath there. I guess you could do it from underneath, but removing that isn't that difficult. Only some bolts up top, some bolts in the middle there and then some bolts behind the fender to get that done. Not very difficult and much easier than if you were to try to do that all from underneath. So if we do look under here, this bracketry as well as that one there and that whole cable is what needs to be installed to have those brake pedals automatically release the cruise control in their linked brake position. This little bracket there is what allows you to do that. You can't really see it, the way it's installed now, but basically it allows each pedal to pivot independently without pulling on that cable, and only when the pedals are linked do they actually pull on that cable. The other big piece in the kit, which is really only a guard for the cable, is right here. You'll use existing bolt holes, one here, one on the other side, and from the best I can tell, it only protects that cable from getting hung up on something. There's a fairly big guard here. You can see the cable running across the top there. A little grease you always manage to pick up whenever you're working around a tractor. And then it runs over to the other side there where I was showing how it's linked to that uh, clutch assembly on that pivot point. So that is basically the uh, cruise control for the L-Series tractors. Not much to it. Like I said, a couple hours of install time, nothing too crazy. Um, works great. I didn't think I would uh, use it all that much, but uh, just kind of working around the house, it's, uh, it's a lot easier just to kind of engage that with the, uh, with the lever and also the ability to use, uh, use your split brakes, which you can't typically do if you have the HST with the treadle pedal being, uh, I only got one right foot. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Be more than happy to, uh, to try and answer those for you. Otherwise, hope your install goes well and this was helpful.